Hello, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, where I explain different car problems and how to fix them. Today, I'm going to talk about the PO for 66 code, which is a common issue that affects many vehicles. If you have this code on your dashboard, don't worry. I'm here to help you understand what it means and how to solve it. The PO for 66 code is an error code that indicates a problem with the purge flow. Sensor circuit in the EVAP system of your car. The EVAP system is a part of your car that controls the fumes from the gas tank and prevents them from polluting the air. The purge flow sensor is a device that measures the amount of vapor that is being removed from the system and sent to the engine. When the purge flow sensor detects a problem, it sends a signal to the computer of your car, which then turns on the check engine light and stores the PO for 66 code. This code means that there is something wrong with the sensor or the circuit that connects it to the computer. There are several possible causes of the PO for 66 code, such as a loose or faulty gas cap that lets air enter the system, a damaged or clogged purge valve that blocks the flow of vapor, a faulty purge flow sensor that gives incorrect readings, a broken or cracked vacuum hose that leaks vapor or air, a faulty computer that misinterprets the sensor data. To fix the PO for 66 code, you will need some tools and equipment such as a scan tool to read the trouble codes and freeze frame data from the computer, a multimeter to test the voltage and resistance of the sensor and the circuit, a smoke machine to check for any leaks in the system, a wrench and a screwdriver to remove and replace the faulty parts. The first step to fix the PO for 66 code is to use the scan tool to read the code and the freeze frame data from the computer. The freeze frame data will tell you the conditions of the car when the code was triggered, such as the speed, the engine temperature, and the fuel level. This will help you narrow down the possible causes of the problem. The next step is to inspect the EVAP system components and wiring for any signs of damage or corrosion. You should check the gas cap, the purge valve, the purge flow sensor, and the vacuum hoses. You should also look for any loose or broken connections or wires. The third step is to perform a smoke test. To check for any leaks in the system, you should connect the smoke machine to the EVAP service port and turn it on. The smoke machine will inject smoke into the system and reveal any leaks. You should look for any smoke coming out of the gas cap, the purge valve, the purge flow sensor, or the vacuum hoses. The fourth step is to test the purge flow sensor and the circuit with a multimeter. You should disconnect the sensor from the wiring harness and connect the multimeter to the sensor terminals. You should then turn the ignition on and check the voltage and resistance readings on the multimeter. You should compare the readings with the specifications from the manufacturer. If the readings are out of range, the sensor is faulty and needs to be replaced. The fifth step is to test the wiring harness and the computer with the multimeter. You should reconnect the sensor to the wiring harness and disconnect the wiring harness from the computer. You should then connect the multimeter to the wiring harness terminals and check the voltage and resistance readings on the multimeter. You should compare the readings with the specifications from the manufacturer. If the readings are out of range, the wiring harness or the computer is faulty and needs to be repaired or replaced. The final step is to clear the code and test drive the car. You should use the scan tool to erase the code and the freeze frame data from the computer. You should then drive the car for a while and see if the code comes back. If the code does not come back, the problem is fixed. If the code comes back, the problem is not fixed and you need to repeat the steps or take the car to a professional mechanic. That's all for today's video. I hope you learned something new and useful. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more car tips and tricks. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and have a great day.